Hey guys, this is Marbozir, and this is going to be part 19 of the Let's Play FTL Faster Than Light. So this time I'm going to start a new game with a new ship, which is going to be the Zoltan Cruiser. This is one of my favorite ships so far, because the, the special ability that it has is one of the stronger ones, in my opinion at least, which is the Zoltan Shield, which stops everything until it goes down, including missiles. And the missiles so far have been the bane of my existence in this game, like seriously. Some of the most unlucky encounters that I had in this game so far were simply due to missiles disabling my key systems right at the start of the fight before I could do anything at all. But anyway, one of the nice things about this ship is that it starts with three Zoltan dudes or whatever they are called, and their special ability is providing power to the occupied system. So, that, so that's basically free power, pretty much. And the weapons it starts with are quite nice, really. The halberd beam is very nice. But yeah, let's keep moving then. The halberd beam is especially nice with some more uh, upgrades. With other weapons, I mean because it works best when the shields are down. It does do two damage, so against one damage, uh, one shield ships, it is still going to do some damage, but later on, when you start fighting two, three, or even four shield ships, it does need other weapons that will disable the shield for it. So what I generally do is get some rapid fire lasers, to take down the shields fast, and once the shields are down, I fire my harbor beam. So I'm going to want to have at least a free shot laser later on. Then he's down. Against most other ships, fighting a Zoltan cruiser right, right at the start of the game would be quite bad. Well, there's a store right here, but I want to get some more scraps before I go there. But these systems are kind of... I don't know if these two are connected or not. I guess there's only one way to find out. Yeah, they are. I don't really have a lot of money right now. I don't think I would want to buy this. So I'm just going to fix myself and buy some fuel and keep jumping. I want to go through both of these nebula systems to slow down the rebels a bit. Oh, I got boarded. That's one of the worst things with this ship getting boarded, because the Zoltan crew members have reduced health. So they are not really great at fighting. They have 70 health only. But hey, you can't have everything, right? I'm just going to put them all in medical bay to kill this guy fast. Yeah, they definitely are not good at combat at all. Their health goes down so fast. Come on, kill at least one of them. There we go. Alright, I'm ready to keep moving then.
Interesting. So yeah, overall I think I much prefer the Zoltan shield over the artillery beam of the Federation cruiser. The halberd beam is really nice, because you can go through four rooms. And if the shield is down, that can do uh, two damage per room. So one shot with the halberd beam, in the best conditions, could do eight damage. Driving some ships where you can go through five rooms, but that's pretty rare. So for a weapon that takes three power, that's really, really nice. It's definitely one of my favorite weapons in the game so far. But obviously it works best with combined with some other weapons, because it's not good b just by itself later on. I mean, you need a way to take down the enemy shields fast. To get the most out of it. I don't think I can go through four rooms here, but maybe I can. This should, in theory, hit four. Yeah, it did. Nice. So yeah, perhaps you can already see why the Harbert Beam is one of my favorite weapons. So with this ship you don't have to count on getting lucky to buy it from a store, you have it right from the start of the game. That's one of the strengths of the Zoltan Cruiser, in my opinion at least. It's definitely one of the better early game ships. You just do need to get something to help by the time you start. Uh, seeing ships with two shields. There is the weak missile launcher though, so that can also help. And I can go through four rooms here, like so. Very nice. One of the weapons I like pairing the Halberd Beam with is the Bridge Bomb. Bridge Bomb overall is one of the better weapons, because it can't be shot down by the defense drones. Nice, I got extra crew member. Awesome. I would have preferred the NG, but hey, I'll take what I have. Alright, let's keep moving then. I could probably go to this system and then check this one as well. Unless these two are connected, but probably not. Yeah, why not? I'm going to explore this one, I have plenty of fuel. I should be able to go through four rooms here. Like this. Yep, 4 damage. So that's the max damage I could have done with one shield up. That's the only annoying thing. But I should be able to use the rocket. Hmm, why can't I do it? I guess it's... It takes one power and I do have one power here. I'm not quite sure, honestly. I should be able to activate it. There we go, now I can. Come on, repair it faster. Oh, he got away. That's annoying because I didn't get anything out of that fight. Oh well. 
You can't always win. I need to heal these two guys before I keep jumping. The few times when I rushed forward without healing up my crew ended really badly. Alright, let's keep moving then. I can explore one more system in this sector before the rebels catch me. I don't really need fuel, so ignore. And I'm going to do the next sector in this video, since it's fairly short. One more fight, though. This should be four rooms. I'm going to buy second shield level as soon as I have 100 scraps. No real point saving them, I guess. Unless there's a store right at the start of the next sector. So I'm going to check that first and then spend the scraps for the shield. Assuming I get 20 more from this. I might not get that much. No, only 13. But let's keep moving. No store here. So let's see. I definitely need more power, so I might as well spend some for that right now. Might be nice getting the rockets operational. I have 23 missiles, so that's a lot. Then I think that's good enough for now. I'm going here first and then to the distress signal. So what I'm going to do in general is just wait until both the missile and is charged up and halberd beam is almost charged up, then shoot their shield systems and use halberd beam directly after that. Unless he shoots my weapon systems, then I'm going to be annoyed. Alright, so now I can use the halberd beam regardless of whether it hits or not, because this guy only has one shield. So I can go through five, uh, four rooms, no problem. Oh, that's... Yeah, I'm not accepting surrender. I thought I screwed that up, but I didn't. I'm saving my missiles though, so I'm just going to finish him off with the halberd beam. Which I should be able to do, no problem. And he's down. Nothing to see here. Now I'm just going to shoot their weapon systems with my missile. I'm not going to wait for them to shoot me. One should be enough. That was a fast fight. I wonder if these are connected at all. I hope they are. If not, I'm kind of screwed. They are. Fortunately. <laughs> if I had to go back through here, then that would be bad. So, same as before. I'm shooting their shield and then using the halberd beam. I didn't disable his shield, unfortunately. I don't think... No, oh yeah, I can go through four rooms. Like this. I'm just shooting his shield again. 
he can be busy repairing it. One more and he's going down. I could use a missile to finish him off, but I'd rather save that missile. Although if he hits me with their he with his own missile right now, that's going to be a net loss for me. But hopefully he won't. Nope, he won't. Alright, 100. I might as well spend some of it now. So, I think I'm just going to buy extra shields. Yeah, why not? This weapon setup can deal with two shield ships, although I would prefer to get a third weapon before I start meeting those. Nice, this will be nice. So if it goes well, this could be up to 8 damage from one beam. That's the reason I like this weapon. Nice, that was 8 damage, so he's down to one hull. And the fight only just started. And this should... will finish him off. I didn't necessarily want to waste a missile there, but whatever, I had auto fire on. Oh, interesting. Well, I can't give them that much. Do I really want to give them 25 scrubs? I don't actually remember what this event does. Well, let's do it then. Well, that did nothing, so I just lost 25 scrubs for nothing. Oh well. I don't care. I want to explore as many systems as I can in this sector, because there probably won't be ships with two shields here, and I really don't want to meet those just yet. And another successful shot, that was 8 damage and 3 red systems. That's why I like the halberd beam so much. It's just an awesome weapon all around. And I got another halberd beam from that, nice. I can at the very least sell it at the store for extra money. Which is probably what I'm going to do. I got a quest. It's down here though. I'm not sure if I can actually go there. And not risk having to fight the rebels. Well, let's do it anyway. Slightly risky, but whatever. Hmm, I don't actually remember this event either. I could use an extra crew member. Nice, it's an NG as well, awesome. This is exactly what I needed. So I think I'm going to put him on weapons, because in case my weapons get destroyed, he can start repairing them right away. I'm going to have to fight the rebels at least once, from the looks of it. Yeah, I'm going to have to fight them once at the exit. So, let's do it. I could get this distress first. I'll have to fight them here anyway, so no reason not to check out this distress. I assume it's linked with the exit, I really hope it is. Giant... Oh, this is the event where you can risk losing your crew members. I don't want to do that. At least I seem to remember sending one of my crew members and he died. Alright, so this is an important fight now. At least he can't hit me with the first missile, because I have the Zoltan shield. If I can take off one of his shield levels, then I will be able to do some damage with the halberd beam. Yeah, like this. So I'm going to do something like this. 
just need to make sure that it will go through four rooms. It should go through four rooms like this. Nice. Now I'm going to fire another missile right before the halberd beam is ready again. Then it should at the very least keep him at one shield level. Nice. Awesome, I might be able to actually destroy this dude before my FTL drive is charged up. If I use one more missile to shoot him, then I definitely can destroy him. Or I can just wait for my beam to charge up. Nice. <laughs> this really shows how strong the Zoltan Cruiser is, really. But let's keep going to the next sector. But that's going to happen in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time.